In this video, I'd like to show you how to find how many times data in this column, this is column F, appears in column A. So we're going to do this with the count if. So let's start with equals count if and then the range that the criteria is based on is the data in column A. So let's go from A2 down to A37. This needs to be absoluted so you need to make sure you've got your dollar signs in then a comma and then your criteria is going to be what's in column F so we need to start off with F2 that doesn't need absolute in so keep that as relative referencing close the bracket and then enter so you can see that this first one has got three occurrences of blue and if we copy this down we can actually see how many occurrences of each color here appears in this list on the left. Now to take this a stage further let's have a look at how we can actually identify the ones that are missing from this list. In other words the ones here that are not over in this list. Now we can see here that um, the ones that are zero are, but let's have a look by wrapping an if function around this. So let's go to the front of count if, type if and open bracket, and then if this count if equals zero, comma then we want to put something like missing comma and then the false will just be a blank cell close the bracket and enter and let's copy that down and you can see now which ones are missing from the list so likewise, we could use a very similar function with conditional formatting. So let's just go over to another list here. Here's the same list. So if we want to conditionally format this range of data, we highlight it, go over to conditional formatting and new rule. And then we want a formula to determine which cells to format. And then down here, we can put the same formula equals count if open bracket. And then again, we want the range from A2 down to A37. This automatically absolutes it for you when you're in conditional formatting, comma. And then the criteria will start off with that first one there in F2. This is where you've got to be careful because it does automatically absolute it. So we need to take those dollar signs out so that it's just a relative reference so that it all, it starts moving down this list, but the A to A37 stays where it is. And I'm gonna say equals zero. So basically whenever this is true, then we can color the cell. So let's choose a color, I'm just going to choose a light yellow here and then click OK and there you have it. The ones that are missing from the list are now highlighted in yellow. So I hope you found that useful and see you in the next video.